Hi guys, uh, in this video we'll have a look at dogtuff.com and how they can improve their current SEO status and their SEO ranking. Uh, first thing first, overall the site looks really nice. It looks uh, very premium. Uh, the feel is nice. They have they do have really nice images, custom images of dogs with their products, videos. Yeah, so they had they have put in a lot of efforts on the look and feel of the website, which is great. Uh, it's that is something that all of the Shopify owners, store owners should uh, do on their website. Uh, they have the reviews uh, here and everything, the social media links. So all in all, really good, well-built site uh, for ads and as well as for SEO. So yeah, I mean, th that gives the signal. So at the end of the day, whether the visitor is coming from SEO or it's coming from paid ads, they're going to see your site. So you have to convince them, you have to give them that genuine signal that, okay, it's a genuine site uh, and you have to give them the reason to take out their credit card and buy from your website. So we're very well done here. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at how their SEO is doing overall. So uh, if you see for the last two years, they grew very well in, uh, at the end of the December last year. And since then, they have been very kind of growing slowly, very slowly, though. So it has, I would say it has flatlined a bit. So we'll we'll dive deep into it and see how they can grow faster from here. What, what are the things that they can do? to grow uh, from here and kind of uh, get that hockey stick growth that we have been able to get for our clients. So this is one of our clients. Uh, when they came to us, they're getting around 70, 80 clicks per day. And from now, just in the last five months, they're getting around 1,000 clicks per day. So from 2,000 organic business per month to 30,000 organic business per, per month, just in the matter of five months of working with us. So this is exactly what uh, Doctor should do in order to get a uh, reach like that. So yeah, uh, first thing I do is I would uh, take a look at what keywords they're ranking for. And they have a lot of page one ranking. So uh, if we look, what I do is I would rather focus on, on the pages that are ranking between position four to 10. So these are the pages that uh, Google already thinks that these are good pages. And because they're ranking between four to 10, I mean, they're on the verge of being in the top three. Uh, we just need to give them that little extra nudge for them to rank uh, better. And once they get in the in the top three, they would be ranking for much, much more terms and they would get a lot more traffic. So I'd filter the list from here between four to ten and I, I'll apply this. And so if you see from here, you can see best shoe uh, toys for dogs, uh, dog chew toys and all of so a lot of collection pages are there. Uh, I can see one URL coming repeatedly and right uh, I think so I we, what we do is we just open one of these pages this is a collection page uh, as you can see so first thing first I mean what I can see is there's no content on the collection page above the fold so uh, very first thing I do is I, I would add some collection uh, content here on at the top of the collection page then the products list that's fine uh, it has some details again uh, there's no content even after the uh, the product list so i'd add more content here as well and i would add the content i would add questions faqs i'd use this section to interlink uh, the other collection pages so so that the whole silo is created and you you could basically build uh, links to these one collection page and that would uh, then pass along the link juice to other collection pages as well. So in that uh, sense, you don't need to build uh, individual backlinks to all of the collection pages. Uh, so yeah, I do that immediately. I add more content here, add internal links and everything. I then have a quick look at uh, how the SEO on page SEO is there for the site. So what would the let's have a quick look at what the main keyword would be. So let's say if the main query is chew toys for dogs. So that should be present here uh, in the keyword. So tough test durable. Uh, it's not there in the uh, meta title. So I, I would start here with that keyword right here first, and then I would have anything. And that uh, the meta title should be under sixty characters, which is the limit. So I do that. The meta description is very very long, and it it does not even uh, contain the keyword. So again, start with the keyword for the description as well and keep it under 155, 160 characters limit so that Google does not have to truncate it. Major, major blunder is there's no H1 tag on the page. So immediately just add an H1 tag and I would just keep it as the meta title. 
uh, because the meta title would anyways contain the keyword that you're looking to rank for so that would that would have the meta title that would have uh, that would have the keyword the meta title and i would just keep the same as h1 so h1 will have the keyword and it would be the same as meta title then i even the h2 i would have uh, variations of these keywords so uh, should uh, toys for dogs dog chew toys these would be the variation of those keywords that would that i would have in as the h2s uh, then i would have there's no h3s on the page as well so when you add more content here i would as add h2s h3s there in the content so that would have a proper nice hierarchy for, for on the page and everything these are some things that I would do then I think let's say uh, the canonical URL is there so that would increase the word count once we once we add the content on the page and everything right so I mean I just keep this one short if you just if they do this for all of the pages that are ranking between position 4 to 10 they would see a massive massive jump in the amount of traffic that they're getting to the site and their traffic graph would also look exactly something like this for the one that we have been able to get for our client here and yeah if you're looking to get similar results like the ones that we have been able to get for our clients uh, you can basically uh, come to my twitter and click on this link uh, to basically see and you'll uh, land on this website surveyshwasta.com slash e-commerce seo and you can apply here to work with us to see if we are a good fit and yeah we can take it from there so that kind of summarizes uh, what Doctor should do to increase their organic traffic. And you can implement this same structure in your Shopify store to get much more organic traffic. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I'll go through them and I'll reply. Peace.